All right, welcome to the Pro Presenter tutorial for New Life Church Slide Volunteers. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to finalize slides and export our slides once they are finished being made. Just a reminder, if you'd like to skip ahead to different parts of this video or look at the different topics we'll be covering, you can always check the video description box below. For now, let's get started on exporting our slides. There are just a few check marks I need to run through before exporting. First, I'll add some blank slides to the beginning and end of my presentation for sermon graphics and backgrounds. To do this, I'll go to my editor, click on the very first slide so I'm at the top of my presentation. Then I'll go down to the bottom left of the editor, find the NLC sermons template, and choose the option for blank slide. You see that now my blank slide is second in the order. Well, I can just use my mouse, click and hold on that slide, then drag it above the first slide. This line indicates where that slide will be when I let go of it. So I'll just make sure that line is at the top and then let go on my mouse. And there we go. The blank slide is now first in my presentation. We're actually gonna make another blank slide here, but there is a faster way to do this. I can right click on the current blank slide I just made, choose copy. And then right click again in the same spot and choose paste. This makes another blank slide appear right below the first one. Now I have two blank slides on the front of my presentation. I'll go to the end and do the same thing, adding a blank slide. Right click and choose paste. And now it'll paste that blank slide that I had copied from the very beginning of my presentation. Now let's close the editor and look at my presentation. We have two blank slides up front and one at the end. Now I'll drag the default sermon background onto the slide at the very end and onto the second blank slide at the front. This helps me clear text while the speaker is talking if I need to and ensures that my presentation will start with the correct default sermon background. And last I'll add the sermon graphic as the very first slide. To do this we need to import the sermon graphic from Dropbox. To import a background, remember I'll go to the menu bar, choose import, import video image, and then the file window pops up and I will navigate to Dropbox. In the slides folder, you'll see a folder titled sets, which has a folder for each Sunday service. And inside each folder is the appropriate sermon graphic with the speaker's name. So I'll navigate to Dropbox here, find the appropriate set folder, and then my sermon graphic. I'll select and import it, and then the graphic appears in my video image bin near the bottom of the program. So now that my graphic is in ProPresenter, I'll just grab that sermon graphic and drag it onto the very first slide of my set. All right, the second check after blank slides is making sure my presentation is the correct aspect ratio. We went over this in the first tutorial, but just remember we want our slides to be in the 1024 by 768 aspect ratio. To check this, select your presentation and go into the editor. Find the Document Properties tab. And the first option here is for size. As you can see, mine says 1024 by 768, but I'm just gonna change the screen real quick here and I will show you what your presentation could look like if your slides were incorrect. You'll see on this screen now, the slides here say 1920 by 1080. And you can also see in the left-hand side of the editor here, my slides are much more rectangular than square. Whenever they are more rectangular than square, that's a pretty good indication that you don't have the proper aspect ratio. Again, if you have the 1024 by 768 aspect ratio, your slides should be looking pretty square like you've seen in most of the tutorials here. All right, now that those two things are checked, namely that I have blank slides and graphics at the front and back of my presentation, and that my aspect ratio is correct, I can go ahead and export my slides. To export them, I will locate my presentation file in the library on the left side of my program, and I will just right click on the presentation and choose Export Pro 5 Bundle. And when I do that, a file dialog box pops up, and here I'll just navigate to my Dropbox Slides folder the same one we got all the template files from earlier. And in this folder, I'm gonna find a folder titled sets. 
Now at this step, if you don't see the folder for the Sunday you made slides for, you can feel free to create that. I do see the folder here, so I'll just click inside there. Again, that date matches the date that I had created with my presentation. And now ProPresenter is asking me again to name the file. We're gonna name this presentation the same thing we named it when we created it in ProPresenter. Again, the format is SS, year, month, day, and service time. So this file will be named SS for sermon slides, 2013 for the year, 11 for the month of November, and we'll just pretend that the Sunday is the fifth. So we'll use 05 for the day. I'll then add the service time, which for this one is 11, 11 a.m. And remember, if the slides are gonna be used for more than one service, you can just use the first service they would be used with. So these slides will probably be used at the 505 service as well, but we'll just put 11, 11 a.m. All right, so now that my file is in the proper place, I will click save and there we go. ProPresenter has exported my slides to Dropbox and they will be ready to go on Sunday morning and imported into ProPresenter at New Life. Well, that has been the ProPresenter video tutorial on how to finalize and export your slides for Sunday morning. I hope all of these tutorials have been helpful for learning ProPresenter and getting you better equipped to run slides on Sunday morning. As always, thanks so much for all the time and dedication you give to our New Life Church Slides team.